Yellowstone Star's mission to support the children of fallen heroes. We're talking about Cole Hauser, better known to many people as Rip Wheeler, the rugged anti-hero on the hit series Yellowstone on Paramount right now. Part of the same company as CBS. That's a coincidence. This Memorial Day weekend, though, you're going to learn a new side of him. Catherine Herridge introduces us to his quest to help kids who have lost parents help those kids realize their dreams. His Yellowstone character, Rip Wheeler, is the quintessential cowboy. Ruthless. You want to fight somebody, you come fight me. And loyal to a fault. Or your family. It's a world away from Cole Hauser's personal passion. This organization is changing the lives of these young men and women. I love this. His involvement with the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, which gives educational scholarships to children of fallen service members. You could attach yourself to almost any charity. Why yeah. special operations? I'm a big fan of second chances for kids when they lose a family member. This is a huge loss for them. The charity has awarded 1,100 scholarships. Maybe it's just my way of, you know, serving, you know, this country, the, the soldiers, um, their families. That quiet service that began two decades ago includes a USO tour in Afghanistan. And Hauser told us about his private visits to Walter Reed Medical Center. There was about four or five guys that, that I stayed in touch with for, for many, many years. Some have committed suicide, unfortunately. Some are still alive and doing well. It was a very kind of educational time for me as a young man in my 20s. Bobcats look good. Hauser's down-to-earth style, a quality he shares with his Yellowstone character, helped him connect with severely wounded service members, including one triple amputee. I walked in and I go, God, you look like a rat's ass. But it got him to smile, you know, and then we would start talking and it was just, you know, it'd break the ice. Hauser sits on the charity's board of directors and worked with the foundation's president, Clay Huttmacher, to expand scholarships to special operations families who lose a non-military parent. When they're calculating what they're going to do in the future, funding of their children's education uh, is not part of that equation. Retired Green Beret Lou Houck's two children are among the first recipients. As Houck deployed overseas, he and his wife, Sydney used his military tuition assistance money to finance her dream of becoming a midwife. She had a passion for helping you know, women like her and, and helping their babies. I was super, super proud of her. Shortly after graduation, Sydney was diagnosed with an incurable cancer. When Sydney died, Houck became a single dad with no savings for college. Then the foundation stepped in. What does it mean to have that burden lifted? Honestly, it feels like love. To have an organization and supporters that care about children and their future whom they've never met. I mean, it's love. It's like gotta be a thousand pounds off your back. You know, think about that. Hauser's mission to ease the burden on military families began with this ring, gifted to him by his late grandfather, Milton Sperling, a World War II Marine, a Hollywood producer and screenwriter. He wants to carry on that legacy through his own children, bringing that unwavering Rip Wheeler loyalty to the next generation. I think it's as good as it gets. The human element of wanting to help just to see somebody go through that moment of, of like, grace. It's like, ah. Hazard said he's excited about the future of the foundation, how it's bringing awareness to these surviving children and reminding all of us that the service of these military families makes our freedoms possible. Such an amazing cause yeah, that he's yeah. getting involved with. And, and, you know, for him to have this stage um, using his influence, and the way that he's doing it says more about him as a man than it does about him as an actor. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing that I found is that there's the actor Rip Wheeler and then there's the person Cole Hauser, and he's got a lot of compassion and a lot of empathy and an ability to really connect with these service members. And he can see what I know as someone in a military family that it's everyone who serves. Mm -hmm. It's the spouse, it's the children. So these scholarships really acknowledge and recognize mm -hmm. that service. Such a great point. And I, I love the way the recipient described it as feeling like love. Mm. Yeah. You know, when Very you cut simple. through all of it, like it's love, it's relief. Yeah. That's what family does for, for family. It's, like it's a relief. And um, he, uh, Lou Houck told us this Memorial Day, the way that we can all really recognize this service and the people that 
we've lost. He said, you know, when you do this work, you lose a lot of people. He said, grief is a roller coaster, but you can acknowledge their service by living the life they would want you to lead mm. and to really make the most of those freedoms that are possible. Yeah. Beautiful. That's good. Beautiful words. Beautiful report. Catherine, thank you thank very you. much.